Hey everybody, hope you guys are healthy and safe. So I have yet another video today. This time it's on the Redmi Note 9T. Now this is yet another entry-level phone from Xiaomi. I actually don't know the price of this device, but I'm guessing it's entry-level because in terms of build quality and performance, it is very, very similar to the Poco M3. With one major exception being the Redmi Note 9T supports 5G, dual band 5G at that. That's because this phone runs on MediaTek's new 7 nanometer uh, Dimensity 800U. I think Dimensity is such a weird sounding name, but Dimensity 800U. So it's a 7 nanometer SOC. You know, a 7 nanometer chip two years ago was flagship quality. Now you're getting that on a device that, if I have to guess, I'm guessing it's anywhere from 200 to 240, 250 US dollars. So unfortunately, I believe because this phone's not running final software, I couldn't run benchmarks. I couldn't really see the numbers of the Dimensity 800U, how it performs. But I've been using this phone for a better part of today. You know, just out and about social media, taking some videos, taking some pictures, texted some people. Performance has been fine. Everything runs pretty ziply. Other than the fact that when you take uh, portrait shots, it takes like a, a couple of seconds to process. So it's definitely not like a Snapdragon A65 um, level of performance, but serviceable. So let's look at the overall hardware first. You have a mostly plastic back right here, but it has this kind of unique texture that when you run your finger through it, it sounds like you're running your finger through a vinyl record. You have a circular camera module, which I quite like how it looks. You see that it looks like it's a pretty impressive camera module. I right? have like four lenses, but no, it's really three lenses, but two of those lenses are just two megapixel sensors, which have been proven time and time again to be just mostly useless. There's, there's decoration. So really, this is really just a 48 megapixel camera. The good news is the 48 megapixel camera is surprisingly good. It has a half an inch sensor, and I think Xiaomi's just gotten very, very good at its image signal processing and all the software algorithms that comes into fine tuning a photo because I'm impressed by how this camera performs at night even without turning night mode on. During the day, ironically, colors are a little bit dull and muted. So it's still a serviceable camera, like in terms of during the day, you're gonna have proper balance and dynamic range but it's just colors look a little bit dull. Surprisingly, I'm more impressed at night than I am during the day with this camera. Now around the front, you have a 6.8 inch LCD display with a FHD resolution. So that's, I believe a little bit north of 1080p. Um, you can see, you know, relatively bezel-less. It can't compare to a flagship, but for a entry level phone, relatively bezel-less with a 13 megapixel selfie camera in the punch hole. And this screen right now looks pretty good to my eyes indoors, but even earlier during the day, I used it under the sun and it was still decent. I wouldn't say it's like the best looking screen I've seen, but it's not a terrible screen. Unfortunately, it's only a 60 Hertz refresh rate. So this phone actually has stereo speakers, which is quite good for an entry level device. And you know, it's not gonna sound as amazing as the Xiaomi Mi 11, but it still sounds pretty decent with sound coming out from the right and left side of the device. So it's back volume. Now because this is an LCD panel, that means there is no in-display fingerprint reader. Instead, the fingerprint sensor is on the right side, which doubles as a power button. It unlocks really fast. You just have to put your finger on it and the screen unlocks immediately. You have volume rockers directly on top of that on the right side. On the top, you have an IR blaster, and then down at the bottom, you have a headphone jack and a USB-C port. The USB-C port is to charge the 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So 5,000 milliamp hour battery is huge for a phone with just a 1080p LCD panel. So you should be able to get excellent battery life on this. Surprisingly, you know, you know how Xiaomi Mi 11 doesn't come with a charging brick anymore, but this phone still comes with a charging brick. So you have an 18 watt charging brick in this box. 18 watt is not super fast, but it will still be able to top up this phone in a little bit over an hour and 10, 15 minutes. Now the Dimensity 800U, as I mentioned, I haven't been able to run benchmarks, but I haven't seen any issues whatsoever. And as for 5G, I did connect to a 5G network earlier in Hong Kong, absolutely no issues. But my opinion is that 5G is still a little bit overrated in terms of, it's not the phones, it's the carriers, the, the reception. 5G reception, 
either you if you get really good reception the 5g is a low band 5g which means it's not that fast or if you get high band 5g then it's really fast but reception is terrible it's like you have to walk to a corner of a busy street hold your phone up like that just to get like real 5g connection so this phone is more about future proofing i don't think right now in january 2021 you're gonna have that excellent 5g coverage where you're at but maybe maybe i don't know maybe october 2021 maybe january 2022 so i think that's pretty cool that xiaomi is you know xiaomi's model is offering innovation for everybody and i think that's what they're doing here they're giving 5g technology to people who can't spend one thousand dollars or even six hundred dollars on the phone like you can just pay like two hundred dollars or 250 whatever this phone costs and get a 5g ready dual band 5g ready handset now a little bit more about the cameras i'm really disappointed by the lack of an ultra wide angle camera but at least the main camera is pretty solid now i'm also impressed by the video performance stabilization is pretty decent although it tends to blow out lights really badly during the day or at night the selfie camera is fine it's you know if you are really into selfies this is probably not the phone for you but at the same time if you're really into selfies and you're on a budget then okay then maybe this phone's for you so it's for software and overall performance this phone runs miui 12 global over android 11. i don't think i have to go over miui 12 that much anymore i've gone over plenty it's a really nice and clean software with a lot of whimsical touches like for example when you jump into the storage the storage of the phone is it's um shown it's represented by like this flowing liquid as if you're holding a cup of water and when you tilt the phone you see that the liquid actually moves around it's like a nice little touch the entire ui is full of nice little animations like that which i quite like now i played some basic games on this on the dimensity 800u handle it fine it's a 7 nanometer chipset it should be able to handle any game you download from the play store without any issues now ultimately i don't know the price of this phone so i can't give you a final opinion if i you know like i said if I have to guess this phone should be around 200 and 250 bucks, that's to me a reasonable price. If this thing is like, you know, 320, then I think it's a little bit too expensive because there's no ultra wide angle camera on this. It's a little bit hard to take. Plastic back, LCD panel, and you know, it's a 60 hertz refresh rate. You can get a Poco X3 NFC for like 270 that has 120 hertz refresh rate. But you know, knowing Xiaomi, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be relatively affordable like 200 bucks maybe even less in that case then you want a 5g handset and you don't want to pay more than like 250 dollars this one might be worth looking at so that's about it for this first look video not a review just a first look at the redmi note 9t i have a lot more content coming up including on the samsung galaxy s21 ultra i'm getting my hands on that pretty soon so stay tuned for that and I'm gonna do a review of the Xiaomi Mi 11 too when I get the global unit. So I'm excited because the Xiaomi Mi 11 is pretty damn awesome. I think Xiaomi is pumping out a lot of good phones for now at every price range. So anyway, that's about it. If you're interested in more content, please subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.